Fresh oysters here for uh, us to sample today. Naturally, I sampled one or two down there when I was gathering these up. Man, fresh and salty and good. Hi, oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Buckhead's Cajun Kitchen. God dang. <laughs> Gotta get the sweat out my eyes before I start. Hey. We in February, it's warming up to 70 degrees. Uh, all right, today, we doing some fried oysters. And I tell you what, you're going to see John open them oysters right now. All right, Johnny got the oysters open. He ate about half of them, <laughs> but hey, that's all right. He probably ate the other half coming in off the road, you know. <laughs> from the oyster beds out there. All right, what we're gonna do, do fried oysters. First of all, I wanna go ahead, get me a little wet wash here. Got an egg. Got a cup of milk. Move this out of the way here. That's for later, that's the Add me a little salt. Just doing a wet wash, you know, something to wet and hold that the dry stuff to it. I need a little cayenne on that. Oh, that's pretty, yeah. Ooh, baby, I'm gonna put a little touch of chili powder, a little bit of garlic, not much. And beat it. Beat it. Beat it, baby. God dang. Well, I went to the dance last night on a Saturday night. Ooh, had my little hangover stuff this morning. Man. Boy, this looks good. All right. Got these oysters, these beauties. See these beauties? All right. Got my little oysters right here. Oysters looking good. All I'm gonna do for my oysters at this point, just put a little touch, not much, cause it's salty already. Just a little touch of salt. Drop them in that wet, wet mixture. And let them set a little while. Y'all sit right there, boys. Be right back. Right now, I wanna get my grease to about 350. My little fry daddy working. Okay. I'm gonna use a bag today for my mixture, my dry mix. I got some regular cornmeal. I don't have that many oysters. Alright, I got cornmeal, I got one of these cups, and that's a cup. I keep everything bagatized in Louisiana, you know, you got to. Everything out here eats. <laughs> bagatized. Bagatized. Alright, this is corn flour. So I got a cup of cornmeal, and I'm going to put a cup of corn flour. Get on in there, boy. Whole grain corn flour. Now, it's not seasoned, okay? Touch your garlic. Touch your cayenne. Touch your chili powder. That was a big touch. That's 
a big touch, but you know what? It's good. It's all good. All right, I am not, uh, let's see, maybe a little bit salt. But I'm not going to put much. Now those, what I'm using right there, the spices, that's pretty much what I always use. Because, you know, I've got my own blend. i got a few more little things I usually use. But, uh, you know, y'all can pretty much guess what that is. <laughs> Get on the side, boy. I don't know where my alligator is today. Man, all right, put my oysters in there. Johnny loved them little oysters, boy. When them little oysters is uh, right out the shell, I do too, but he jumped in the bucket first. You know, if you're going to jump in the bucket, First one to get there gets it all just about. The rewards go to the person who does the work. <laughs> see, when Johnny left, he had two buckets. You come back, you see what I had. <laughs> 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 oh, all right, I'm going to put all this on the side because we got to get down to some business in a minute. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, that little machine is hot enough. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, that moisture's doing that thing, baby. Oh, yeah. I like to do this oysters for about a minute and a half. Uh, Johnny, count the 90, will you? Right. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm go, I kind of go by sound. I hear him talking. Yeah. You hear him talking? Yeah, I hear him talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Guns and cars. <laughs> oh, guns and cars. That's just some moisture's working, brother. He's just going to fry for a minute and a half. So you got to get them golden brown. You want a little cooking time on there. He's doing that thing. Boy, I tell you what. You didn't find no shrimp out there. It wasn't, that's right, we're out of shrimp season right now. There wasn't nothing else we could fry in. Evidently, the shrimpers was all partying too late last night. There wasn't none of them out when I was there early this well, morning. We usually buy from the season clothes, but we usually buy from the crooks. That's it. You know, and if the crooks ain't working, it means they ain't got none. All right, let me put this right here. It's starting to get pretty. I'll show you what they look like here in a minute. Can you zoom in on this one here, Johnny? That's yes, right. See how that looks? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, there you go. But now I done cut your head off. Now I got to get That's you. That's all right. Just try to get me there, brother. Take I'll... me in. Take the zoom off. I got you. That goes over there. Floating to the top. According to my count here, we've been hit 90. All right. Here we go. Taking them out of it. They're pretty, let me tell you. That's one thing about corn flour and cornmeal mixture, does an excellent job on oil. All right, come on out of there, y'all. Let's go. That's what we got right there. Good on. The first one I got right here. Johnny had the opportunity to get all the good ones. Oh, oh. Hey, baby. Hey, oh, baby. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little sauce in here. A little, a little sauce for your for your oysters. Put 
just a minute. <laughs> All right. I guess I put a tablespoon of ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, about a half a te teaspoon, crystal. Crystal hot sauce, Louisiana pure. All right, about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe almost a half, depending on how hot you want it. All right. A little lemon juice. It's got to be good. Oh, yes, yeah. Let me get this little puppy right here. Holy moly. Taste that, Johnny. No air time, John. You're doing pretty good today, bud. That's the fruits of my labor. That's the fruits of his labor. I hope his head is in the picture. <laughs> hey, we got. <laughs> How is it, bud? Woo, good. <laughs> Hell, we should. You should have stayed out there longer and got some more. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. And you got your thumbs up. Aye, oh yes.